nice to see so many of you turn out, and uh, those that came in the rain, just let me know it's sunny now. <laughs> um, it, it, uh, it never amazes me when people start things up with the volunteers, but uh, it, it runs so successfully. And I think it's because the volunteers put so much time and effort into it that these things do run successfully. So I'm not going to make a big speech, I'd just like to thank the volunteers for all they're doing with the food bank. We should have a success in the future. And I um, hope everybody here, and well, I know you do, and all the rest of the people will support it. So thank you very much.
extra food banks added to the project in, in just over a year. We are looking to doubling that figure of the amount of people that we are, uh, we are going, to, uh, going to support uh, over this year. And the plans for um, the next five years will hopefully mean there will be a food bank in every town, every city uh, across the country, providing the much needed support um, for people that find themselves at that point of crisis. Story from Grantham so far, we are now a year old, we now have 130 volunteers working with us and I have 10 more who I am uh, starting to do the vetting procedure um, on uh, at the moment. We have had over 12 tonnes of food uh, come in through our, through our little doors. Uh, the stories of gen generosity are absolutely immense, I'll tell you one. Um, a gentleman, as we were doing a supermarket collection at, uh, at Asda, uh, just uh, walked in with a, with, a, with a trolley and had a uh, and came back with a, a trolley full of food and a little bag on the back. I went to grab hold of the little bag to say thank you very much, and he said, "No, that's mine. This is yours." Another story: a gentleman came up to us uh, with a, a big whiskey bottle, and I said. I'm sorry, but we don't accept um, uh, alcohol. <laughs> we, opened, we opened the top and it was full of coins. There was over £700 of, uh, of money within this, uh, when, we, when we counted it up. We, took, we talked to the supermarket and we managed to turn that into £1,400 um, worth of food. These are just some of the generosity things. This is about igniting compassion across your town, and God is at the, uh, at the centre of that. I see this uh, project as, uh, as part of the story of, um, of Ruth. You know, all that Ruth is told, um, the landowner leaves more, tells people to leave more on the ground, and, uh, and then Ruth is told to start to pick it up. And that's what you started to do. You started to pick it up. And then you'll take it to the threshing floors and you'll turn it into, into something wholesome. We have, I said, the first year it has gone, we have supported 1,157 families in that, period, in that period of time. That is 10,417 meals provided for the for the people of Grantham. That's a target for you to for you to aim for. Quite a for the people. I've uh, I bought a little gift uh, for you. Um, this is a year's worth of documentation. Um, you have 200 food banks to dip into. Please dip into them. That's where you will get your your ideas and your fundraising uh, support from. And, uh, and there are some phenomenal ideas out there. This is a year's worth of documentation that we have created on top of the, the Shossel Trust. I hope you can take this, add your own logos to it, grab your ideas, and, and I hope it will help you uh, move a uh, move a little bit faster. Blessings. I, I drove into uh, to, to, to Stanford only, only half an hour ago. And I saw over the uh, in that big swarm that you that you just had, and there was a rainbow over the top of, uh, of Stamford. And as you know, that is a sign of God's blessing.
that keeps them from being here. But it's uh, just over a year ago that I was in St George's Church saying, you know, I was looking for something to do um, that was connected with the church. <laughs> it was a dangerous place, it was a dangerous conversation because he said to me, well, how about setting up a food bank? And I said, what's that in my innocence? And he said, why don't you just tell good people to give food to poor people? I said, no, I don't want to do that, that sounds a bit boring. Which were not my exact words, and sadly, I think I'm being paid back for that because I would love to have been bored over the last few months. Um, I'm looking forward to maybe being bored again one day, but it's certainly not an option I've had recently. So I did say no, and was not in the slightest bit interested. Um, but David wanted someone to go to Brian's launch, and so he said, Well, being persistent, wouldn't you just look at the email for me? Um, saying, you know, being a good girl, okay, I really must. And I was very much, I really did not want to have anything to do with it. wasn't interested at all. So I, he actually then went on the spot, you know, sent it, you know, your email address, I had it in my bank. There it is, you've got it. You know, it doesn't waste a minute. So I went home and had a look at it. Um, and I want to show you a DVD now that gives you an idea of some of the things that I actually saw. But, um, and thank you most of all for your support, because all of you here have supported one way or another. So thank you.